Just because, you know, you say, I'm a believer, I love the Lord Jesus Christ, I, I'm here, I'm following Jesus. This does not mean that life is just going to be plain, simple, and easy for any of us. So, where does our faith fit in? What is our faith? What role does faith have in the middle of all these challenges that you and I face? On the one hand, which we have as a church emphasized much, is that by faith, we dominate the circumstances. By faith, we speak to the mountains. We command them to move. By faith, we speak to the storms and the waves. We command them to stop because Jesus did it and Jesus taught us to do that. By faith, we choose to overcome. By, by faith, we choose to resist the devil and what he does to us. And, and so there is one side of faith that says, I will take charge. And the other side of faith is coming to a place in God where you and I say, Lord, I let go and I let God. So, you know, Jesus talked about the two houses, one that's built on the rock and one that's built on sand. The rains came, the waves lifted up, the winds blew on both the houses. So just because you and I are building our homes on the rock, on the word of God, on Jesus Christ, doesn't mean the, the storms won't come. It came to both the houses. The difference was the house on the rock stood firm. When we say let go, let God, it doesn't mean you now move to a place of unbelief. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. Tomorrow the world will be worse. <laughs> it's not moving to a place of unbelief. We are not saying that just because you let go and let God, now you don't have a, a, a faith in God anymore for, to see God work. That's not what we are saying. What we are saying is when you let go and let God, you're standing in faith. But you're letting God move. When you let go and let God, you are still standing on the word of God. You're still standing in faith. So what I'm trying to say is, when we let go and let God, our side, we stand on his word. While we let go and let God. As we're going through the storms, as we're going through challenges, as we're going through difficulties. What is the assurance we have in our heart? just want to remind us. First of all, we have the assurance that he is faithful and he is Lord. God is faithful. He's faithful to you. He's faithful to his promise to you. And he is Lord. He is well able to handle things. We have that assurance. Second, we have the assurance that his word is truth. His word is Third, your assurance, our assurance is he will cause us to triumph. And lastly, we will overcome. We will overcome. Amen. We will overcome. The Bible says, the Bible says, whoever is born of God overcomes the world. You are born as an overcomer. You can't help it. It's in your DNA. Whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So as long as you're standing in faith, you're going to overcome.